like that for now, I'm just showing you how to put them in. So another thing down here, you can see all the bones where they're attached to. Um, in the animation sequences as well, you can make him run about or uh, do different poses. So we'll find run here. Uh, run forward. So running forward with a rifle. We're going to click this little button to loop it. Click play. Well, that's running backwards with a rifle. Yeah. So you can see he's animated fairly well. He, you know, he's not perfect, but he's definitely going to do for getting him in game. Right. Um. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to come down here, where it says mesh, there's a few things we need to change here. So um, down here there's a materials option, so simply select this and put your materials on him. This is, you know, just like any other sta uh, static mesh you've done before, you just assign the materials uh, you've already made. You know, he's looking much better already, isn't he? Now, another important thing to do. You have to come down here to where it says Origin. And you have to set the Z axis to uh, about negative 49. Now, what this does, uh, you can see it's lowered and down in the editor. Um, so if you didn't do this, he'd be floating when he ran. I know it's a bit confusing, but uh, trust me, you have to do this. Um, the next thing you have to do under Rotation Origin, you have to set the yaw to negative 90. Okay, so this rotates him so he's now facing the x-axis. In Maya, the y-axis is the front axis. But in Unreal, the x-axis is the front uh, axis, so we, we just have to change his orientation. So when he's running forward, he really will be running forward. So, um, we're nearly done here. We've imported him in. He looks alright. He's got all his materials assigned to him. There is one more thing we have to do. And that is sockets. Sockets attached to uh, certain bones in UDK to tell it where to put um, weapons or where to generate physics from or that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to cheat. We're going to copy the sockets of an existing character and just put them on. So if you go UDK game, content, characters, and scroll down and choose a character Liam Cathode. If we open up him, you can see there he is. Now, to uh, open up, you can see what I mean as well about the grid is um, he's not walking on the grid, he's like centered to it. Now, to open up the sockets, come down here, well up here to socket manager, open up this. You can see that uh, these sockets, they, they have to be called the certain names that they are and they have to be attached to the correct bones. So we're not going to do that manually, what we're going to do, we're going to go copy sockets, close him down back into your custom character, open up the socket manager up here, and go paste sockets, there you are, so that's pasted the sockets back onto him, so uh, that's alright, no fiddling about with which bones to put it on, nothing like that, uh, so you have your material set up, you have uh, he's animated, he's in, so he's in UDK, 
So the last thing we have to do is we have to save the package, save it in the characters section and um, that's it, that's the end of this video and in the next one we're going to do scripting for him to make him as playable